In this class, we'll study commands for editing a 3D model, such as extruded cut, hole wizard, fillet, and chamfer. All these commands display a common characteristic that remove material from a model. However, the purposes are different and they are applied differently. Let's see how to apply these commands using the previously created model. We'll begin with the extended cut command for removing material from a 2D profile. Select the sketch as shown here. A preview of the command shows how the material will be removed from the model. If the results are not as you wish, then enable the flip side to cut checkbox to see how the preview is changed in the removed material. Now the results are acceptable as the material has been removed in the correct direction, so just confirm the command. Next, we'll enable the fillet command to round out the resultant flanges from the cut extrude command. Click the displayed edges, look at the preview from this command. Let's increase the radius value of the fillet as necessary and confirm the command. See how the flanges have been rounded successfully. Now let's apply the chamfer command to add a chamfer to the upper edge of this bearing housing. Enable the command and select the edge this way. In the property manager keep the angle value as 45 degrees and input the dimension as 2 mm. The preview shows the material has been removed and then just confirm the command. And finally the hole wizard command for cutting drill holes in the flanges. Enable the command and define the hole characteristics. For example, if the hole will be inset or countersunk, the diameter value and other options. Define the characteristics and click the Position tab. See how SolidWorks automatically opens a 3D sketch and also the Point command is enabled. The Point command makes it possible to define the position of the drill holes. Insert one point in each flange and then see how it's possible to define relations or dimensions as if it were a normal sketch. Confirm the command and now the holes have been created. It is also possible to edit the position or other characteristics of the hole. There, we have modeled a bearing housing with flanges, drill holes and details. So in this class we have learned some basic commands for editing a previously created 3D model. Practice applying these commands so you can enhance your knowledge.